78% of the central bank are studying uh, the uh, digital fiat currency, central bank digital currency, and I think um, the work uh, from IMF, from Bank of Canada, from uh, half a dozen central bank around the world in the working group uh, with a focus group proves that uh, we have created a great uh, information for the central banks as well as ITU members to share. The objective from the beginning was to really look at the architecture, uh, regulatory guidelines and the security for digital fiat currency. The focus group uh, has three working groups and the first one is uh, uh, compliance, legal, uh, regu regulatory compliance and the economic impact. The second one is architecture and the third one is security. Some central banks are looking at it because they have a decline in cash usage in their country. Other are looking at it because they want to have a more effective means of settlement. They may be considering to have a tool to foster financial inclusion or in some instances they are looking at it from a monetary policy perspective, have a new tool to implement their Monte policy. I think the most compelling case is for um, the, the um, inclusion aspect. Some degree of interoperability is, is required, I think, in the, for that future uh, world. So why not now build towards that future by building standardization into central bank digital currencies so that when you move up beyond um, the, the national domestic only CBDC that uh, um, you're ready for the interop uh, to interoperate with other countries. The technology really can be a very strong unifying force, not only in bringing the central banks together, but also in terms of, of creating a basis for a, a whole new set of regulations. Everything is being digitized, right? Of course, from music, movies, anything that can be digitized is being digitized. Money is one of those. And standards allow comfort, first of all. Uh, of course, they, they, they allow uh, a, a competition uh, to enter the field and, and compete on equal footing. Money should, should, should go seamless from one country to other moving around. So in that sense, you need to have standards to make this possible without any, any, any big costs on doing that. So I think that there's a huge place to, to ITU to help this kind of standardization uh, if ev eventually uh, this technology can, I is going to be marketable. There may be multiple motivations for a central bank to look at this. And uh, it's fair to say there is not a uniform driver for this. We are planning to establish a future of a currency lab where most of the members will participate so that all the solutions can be compared and evaluated and then provided to uh, the central banks around the world so that they don't have to uh, chase you know, all kinds of solutions and vendors. So we want to make this a clearinghouse for the technology for digital fiat currency.